Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to install MySQL. So, without any delay, let's get into it. Open your favorite web browser. Here, I am using Google Chrome. Search for MySQL and press enter. The first link is the official link to download MySQL. I have mentioned the link in the description box. Look for download section at the top of the page and click on it. Now scroll down the page and look for MySQL community download. Click on it. Here you will see list of tools to download. Look for MySQL installer for Windows and click on it. Now click on the second download button that is 558 MB in size for both 32 bit and 64 bit system. Click on it. To continue download, click on No thanks, just start my download. As you can see, the download has started successfully. I will see you once the setup is downloaded successfully. As you can see, the setup is downloaded successfully. Click on the setup file and wait for a moment. It will ask for admin permission. Click on yes to continue. The setup wizard will pop up. Select the setup type as custom and click next. Now under select product, go to MySQL server. Click on the plus icon to expand the option. You will see the list of versions. Select the latest one and click on green arrow to add the product to download list. Similarly, click on the application, then MySQL Workbench, choose the latest version to continue. Click on the arrow to drag it. Now under MySQL shell, choose the latest version and click on the arrow to continue. So we want to install all these versions. Click on the next. So all of these files are ready to install. Click on the execute. It will take few seconds to install. Once done, click on the next. Again, click on the next. Under type and networking, keep it to default and click on next. Authentication method, keep as it is and click next. Under account and role, you need to set password. Remember the password and click on next first we need to click on check then click on next windows service keep it as it is click next click on execute to apply configurations it will take few seconds. Now the installation is finished. Click on the finish. Under product configuration, click on the next. The installation has finished. Click on the finish. 
tick mark these options if you want to open the applications right after the installation here i untick these options and click on finish now we will close the web browser and open start menu and search for mysql workbench and click enter here we can run and execute mysql query this is the home page of mysql workbench now open the mysql connection that is available and enter the password that you have created earlier while installing the setup to skip inserting password every time check mark the option save password in vault and click ok this is the place where you will write your sql query we will understand basic of workbench from here we can create a new sql file this is the schema section where we can see all the databases and the tables this area is output screen where we can see our output using this button we can run whole code at once or to run code line by line click on this button for better understanding i am going to write sample sql queries to run query line by line click on this button you can see all the available databases in this local system here i am going to use test db database and click on this button to execute this line as you can see i am in the test database now we will see all the available tables in the test database you can see the list of available tables in test db database now we will see all the records available in the students database as you can see these are the available records in student table that's it from the video if you have any doubt regarding installation or have any query feel free to mention in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to install it right thanks for watching see you in the next one